the driveway is glare ice. Well, this is a first. We had someone reach out to us needing us to take three horses in um, from the sounds of it his dad had a stroke um, and unfortunately isn't going to be coming back home and mom isn't able to take care of these horses by herself so they need us to come pick up those horses and I know when Polly was here last week he said he'd be willing to help us if we needed anything so I'm gonna give him a call and see if he'd be willing to stop out and give us a hint Okay, Polly, so I was told that you were interested in possibly helping us get those three horses, those three quarter horses. Yeah, yeah, them ones that were kind of like feral or whatever. Yeah, so I talked to the guy, and it looks like he's, we're thinking Thursday morning we're going to pick him up, and I know you're already planning on coming out here. Um, yep. Do you maybe just want to meet us there that morning and then come here afterwards? It's kind of on the way. That'd be, that'd be just fine. Pretty much kind of on your way. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. I can meet you there. You just let me know what time. Okay, sounds good then. I will text you and give you the address and let you know what time, and we'll see you Thursday morning then. Sounds great. All right, thank you much. You bet. Bye-bye. Bye. I always feel like somebody's watching me. So... We don't have to take the gooseneck now, thank God, because Doug is not going to pick up the four. And Wade's trailer has sat here for how long? Six weeks or whatever. Nate took it back over to Doug's a couple days ago. So, couldn't get that hooked up first. We're gonna have to get all our stuff. We'll get some halters, some ropes, some sticks. Um, maybe a little dinghy. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even a little bit of hay, grab a couple flakes of hay. And then we have to go pick up the trailer at Doug's and Break.
that middle fence is down in a lot of spots, so they're, I don't know what we can. These two are pretty curious. Yeah, you got horse trailers all over. I know. So we'll try to get back up. Yeah, Probably only be able to get to about right here. Close as you want to get, like I said, I got a bunch more panels too. Tight quarters. So we were kind of just looking at the pictures you sent and we were wondering how and like where we would be able to back the trailer up to be, you know, to be able to get them in if we're not able to. Right. Um, well, we should be able to back into the driveway. I mean, there's so much snow out there. We've, I've got a bunch of round pen panels out there Okay. and stuff so we can, I mean, we should be able to. You okay. know, I should be able to get them crowd and get some halters on them, and then we should be able to bring them out to the trailer. So, are, got, so yeah, a lot of junk laying around there, but do they lead and stuff? Like, are they handleable? I believe I, I really don't know. We did have someone reach out to us. She said she was a neighbor and that she'd kind of been over and had worked with the horses before, I believe she said. Okay. Um, and she said that they were unhandled. So I guess we were just thinking that we were going to have to, you know, run them into the trailer instead of... I really honestly, I, I don't know myself. So okay. I'm, I'm guessing we may have to, but like I said, there's, I know there's a lot of round pen panels there. We should be able to get them... Set up and... Close enough to where we can... Make some sort of shoot. You know, make like a shoot or something. Make a lane to get in there. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kaya. Happy birthday to you. Not <laughs> Bullseye and Harry arrived here together, but they did not come from yeah. the same place. Oh, bull the people who were surrendering, Harry, didn't live too far from where Bullseye was at, and she needed help with transport, so they were very gracious and brought them both here. It worked out very good in the end. Harry is mostly blind, and this way he arrived here with a friend, helping to make this transition easier for him. Back in this one, see it? Right in the center. See oh, yeah, 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 right there, yeah. So yeah. Right under much vision. Hang on. Oh, she bumped right into me. In fact, you don't have any no, he just was throwing his head around. You bumped me. He wasn't being. Uh, no, not on that one. Yeah. Good boy, you're being very brave, it's, Harry. It is coming down. It's it's coming down. People's shrinking now, so he's seeing the light. But he's got a pretty good sized cataract going on that one too. Yeah. Uh, you got cataracts in both of them. You can see the cataracts in this one too. Yeah. Cataracts in both of them, you said. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab Harry and Evo in today. What else should I know about them? Um, so Harry was known as Frender. Um, she had originally gotten him from Ryan's rescue pen, the kill pen in Minnesota. I believe at the time he was blind in one eye, and since she got him, he started losing sight in the other eye. Um, he's just become really skittish. I guess he was at a quarantine place too, and it didn't go well. And um, he was kind of locked up in a stall for a while. Everyone was afraid to handle him because he's a nervous guy. He's what I think Jim said. He's got like 25% vision left in his left eye. Um, he's not going to know us. He's not going to know our voices and stuff. He's going to be a little more nervous. Obviously, you know, this blind horse has got to move a little slower sometimes. Um, but he's here in the stall. He got his halter off. So maybe we'll go. Get that put on him. Okay. Let's go get a halter on Harry. All right. Okay. Since Harry doesn't know us or our voices, he has no idea what we want from him. His biggest fear is us touching yeah. him and if it's going to hurt and what we want. So right now, from a distance, we're just going to touch him with the string and make him see that the touch isn't going to hurt until we can get closer and touch him with our hands. We're just trying to help you, honey. We're just Calm trying down. to help you. Calm down. Wow. Calm down. You're okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Mm. 
Here Nate's coming with round bales. So about how long do you think this load of round bales will last us? Probably about a week, 10 days. How many do we feed each day? It varies sometimes. It's one or two a day usually at least. He's right there. I'm trying to herd these guys back over towards the trailer, which is way over there. So these two kind of came back up to the trailer, and while they're out there trying to get that third one, Kylie's going to stay back and see if she can't get her hands on one of these guys. Here. 
You're okay, babies. You're okay. Good horsey. Good idea about the belt. See how he leads. We were able to get a halter on this guy and he's leading nice so far, but it's very obvious that he's afraid of the other two horses. I think that one is the bully. We're going to have to try to load him Maybe. first because he likely won't get on if the other two are already on the trailer. I said, of course, to the horse. Of course, to the horse. I said, of course, to the horse. Bullseye. Bullseye. It's not for you. The green, so you can. You can hey, Harry, is just bullseye taking a bite?
So this is our first time we've been out here in the pasture since we put Harry and Bullseye outside. We were kind of afraid we weren't going to be able to catch them again, so we figured we'd come out here with a dish of grain um, to maybe help them warm up to us a little bit. Bullseye here is very interested in the grain, but he'll let us catch him, so he doesn't need it. We're just kind of going to keep working with him until he gets comfortable with us and used to us coming out and petting him all over and whatnot. Going blind is scary and... Excuse you, Bullseye. Excuse you. Newly blind horses really lack confidence in themselves. They feel like they can't do any of the things they were able to do before and we gotta show them that they can. So hopefully with some time, Harry will understand that and You love to roll, don't ya? bud. Mm. Mm. You're all right, honey. Yeah. Hi, you're okay. Corralled. horse if he... I think all three of them have go oh, like cool. they seem to have good minds. Like, yeah. yeah. I know he's always had nice horses but do you want the really chain or what were you wanting? Sure. Take care of them very well.
Ozzie and Ramses were both adopted from Ponytails back in June of 2019. Ramses came back his usual goofy self with his tongue issue. Ha, gotcha. <laughs> and trying to issue a buck when you first get on him. Woo! Bozzy, on the other hand, came back with some pretty serious issues when it comes to the vet and the farrier. Even being blindfolded, he knows the vet is there, and it was extremely difficult just to get him sedated for the farrier. Now that's enough. Beautiful. I'll let you get out first. Worst comes to worst. <laughs> Well, this is a first. What's that? In 11 years, this is the first Mustang I've ever seen that's foundered. I would say he foundered in the last three to six months for how soft this lamina is and how it's stretched. It's caused him to have the soft sole, so he's got an abscess of here and here, which is not horribly progressed, but still. But you can see all the tiny little fibers that make it stretch. And when these stretch, they break apart and make the foot soft and tender. And his are still very soft. Lovely. Like we might be having a little bit of traction issues. So what's going on right now? Well, we can't back the trailer up to the barn because it's too slippery. And the trailer is just pushing us right back down the hill. All right, I'm heading over to the shop. Everyone's gathered around the trailer. The driveway is glare ice. So we're heading to the shop right now to see if Nate has some salt or sand or something that we can put down on the driveway and hopefully gain some traction so we can end up backing these horses right up to the barn and unload them. Nate, give me a bag of salt. So there is not enough salt for us to back the trailer up to the barn. We're going to put some down just enough for the people and horses to have traction once they get off the trailer. But now we got to figure out if we can even get halters on the other two horses. Looks like... I got stuck at my elbow. Polly's going in. My insurance policy is make sure my heart has been stopped for two minutes before you call the ambulance. Okay. Okay. Well, 
body's not really contained. Good boy. Good boy. It's just a barn. It's just a babe. Doorway. Come again tomorrow. Come on, Tootsie. Buddy, come on. Good boy. Oh, 
Good boy. <laughs>